G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for the Asia Pacific region based in Melbourne, Australia. With the looming end of support for Windows 10 coming on the 14th of October 2025, I wanted to make a video showing how Big Fix can help with the planning and upgrade of your Windows 10 fleet to Windows 11 across your enterprise. With the shift towards a hybrid workforce model following the pandemic, this is going to be the very first time many organisations have had to deal with the technical issue of upgrading users' operating systems that are not in the traditional office environment. BigFix can help perform the in-place upgrade of your devices to Windows 11, regardless of whether your workers are in the office, working from home, with or without a VPN connection, BigFix can help you control the upgrade of the devices and help take the pain out of this activity. Firstly, let's look at how Big Fix helps with the planning. For Windows 11, there is a list of requirements that you need to meet. You certainly have to have a TPM 2.0 module. You have to have secure boot enabled in the BIOS. It must be 64-bit. You have to have a UEFI firmware. You have to have four gigs of RAM or higher on the system. 64 gigs or larger storage, one gigahertz or higher of processors with two cores and a graphics card, just to name a few of the requirements. Big Fix has a dashboard in the BES inventory and license site to help with this. Now, before we can use this, there's a couple of steps that we need to activate the data in this. The first being to activate the analysis in this site. This is the Windows 11 upgrade eligibility information analysis that we need to activate. Once this is done, there's a fixlet that we need to run across our Windows 10 fleet to determine the eligibility of our graphics card on the system. Once you've activated the analysis and the data has been collected and the probe has run to completion, we can look at the associated dashboard. Here you can see my Windows 11 in-place upgrade eligibility dashboard. I'm just going to pop that out here so we can see at greater detail. Here you can see the data around what systems meet the Microsoft requirements and should be good to upgrade, as well as having information about which systems require further planning due to incompatibility. As I'm running virtual machines, the graphic card checks for my machines fail. So I'm going to actually just edit the criteria here and remove the graphic card checks so that I can see what systems are actually eligible. I've created three machines for upgrade here as part of this video. I've got Clark's PC, which passes all the tests here. I also have Lois's PC, which makes the pass for all of the tests. And I have Jimmy's PC. You can see in my video here in the dashboard that Jimmy's PC is not eligible as it's running version 1809 of Windows 10. So I'd need to upgrade it to at least the 2004 version of Windows 10 before making the final move to Windows 11. Now let's do an upgrade. So we're doing an upgrade with Big Fix. Some of the benefits that we're going to get is we'll be able to cache the files for the upgrade onto the endpoints. We can also run through a simulated installation to ensure that there's no problems with the actual install and increase our success rates. We'll get greater control over the actual upgrade. We minimize the disruption to your staff. We get a speedy rollout of your Windows 11 upgrade. And finally, and I think most importantly, we can upgrade users, whether they're in the office, whether they're working from home, whether they're using a VPN connection, or they've just got a straight internet connection. As long as you've got your Big Fix infrastructure set up to manage devices across the internet, you can do it with Big Fix.
So let's have a look at doing the in-place upgrade with Big Fix. Now I'm going to use the OS deployment and bare metal imaging capability that comes with either Lifecycle, Enterprise or Workspace. Obviously if you've got end user devices it's going to be Lifecycle or Workspace modules that you would need. And you can certainly get in touch with your um, local sales team around how you can get this if you don't have it. Now I'm not going to show you how we actually create the images because that's done in another video. This is more about just how we do the upgrade. But we do have an image library where we do store images and you can see here I've got various different images in here. I've put the most latest one in Windows 11 which is last year 24H2. So how we go about upgrading is we go here to imaging and we have a task here which is Windows in place upgrade. Now, in the description here, if I just drag this up so we can see more, I get a, a drop-down box which shows all the images that I've imported into my image library. So I obviously want to choose the very latest. If I'm going to upgrade to Windows 11, I'm going to go with the latest. And here's where I can choose the command. So I'm going to go with the check only mode, which is going to copy down the files to the system in a simulation and then ensure um, that that simulation completes and runs to um, the end successfully. So I'll just push this out to these two PCs and then I will come back after they've actually completed. Okay, now the job's completed, we can actually have a look back in our imaging so what we know by the completed job is that the job has successfully cached the image down to that system and it's run the simulation and it's returned that it's all successful. So that means we've got our binaries there and we can now choose when we actually install the image. So what we have is our run upgrade only task and this is going to use the files that are cached on the system to install. So it doesn't need to transfer the files down again they're there already we can now just go through the upgrade so we'll let this go and we'll come back once this job's completed okay you can see here that the job's now finished and both of these devices have now been upgraded to windows 11 so i hope i've been able to show you how big fix can help with the planning of your windows 11 rollout as well as manage and control the rollout itself to reduce the effort required by your organization as well as simplifying the overall upgrade whether devices are on-prem or remote. And if you don't manage to hit the deadline, Big Fix will have content to support your Windows 10 machines should you have an ESU, and, you know, an extended support update agreement with Microsoft. Also, don't forget to use the QR code shown here to visit our webpage to help you on your journey with Big Fix. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.